What's going on friends? Welcome back to a, another video. So if you haven't noticed, we're starting off this video on the let's talk about it side of the table versus the tutorial side of the table. And that's because this video is talking about a tutorial that I've already done, but I received a lot of questions about it. And some people are still a little skeptical about this hairstyle. So to give you some tea real quick, the video I'm referring to is my crochet box braid wig. It is like one of my popular uploads on my channel. And uh, that's because it is just like the easiest thing to do. And the slay on it is just amazing. It's quick and easy. I wanna let you guys know or show you guys uh, five ways that I style my Instabun crochet braid box braid crochet wig. I always start with a black cap. Always, always, I, I always, always start with a black cap. I never wear nude, white, no other color other than black. And that is because you don't want to be able to see the mesh through the, the braids. I use five and a half packs of hair to use on making this. So it's a good like, 60 to 80 braids on this crochet wig now as you can see there are plenty of gaps You can see straight through this bad boy and That's because I didn't want to pack it in too much where it looks like it's a hell of a lot of braids on my head I want to make it look as realistic as possible I guess so in the center of this wig there are plenty of gaps and I try to you know I guess build it up more around the edges where you know if I pull my hair up you won't be able to see it. Mine's is very worn out. The elastic has started to wear out on it. I've had this wig for I think going on a year almost. So I do have a couple of holes for where the band is separating from the little mesh. I can go in there and sew it but I'm not because I could just make another one, I guess. That's just kind of how I feel about it. All right, so let's go ahead and start putting this bad boy on. As you can see with the black cap, you all you see is just black. You don't see those mesh lines unless I get like super close. But we're in the middle of a pandemic, so nobody should be within six feet of you anyway. So you shouldn't be worried about them being all up in your grill to begin with. You need to make sure that while I'm pulling and tugging, trying to adjust it, that it is going to stay where I need it to stay. So I take a edge scarf tying around my edges and make sure that the band of the wig is covered by this because we need this to hold it. I'm gonna tie it pretty tight, but it's only temporarily, it's not gonna stay. I just need it tight enough so when I start pulling on the braids, the wig doesn't come to line off my head. So the first style that I always start with because it is the easiest and it also helps me go into my other styles that I wear is a half up and half down. Another question that I also get when um, people watch the video Videos, is the wig heavy honey this is 30 inches of braids there's anywhere from 60 to 80 pieces of braids in here yes it's going to be heavier than just your regular hairstyle like of course you are going to feel the weight of 30 inch braids in your head especially if we're putting them all on top of our head I like to take two or three pieces of braids and wrap it around the ponytail holder so it all looks like one seamless pretty braided pony I do adjust it to make sure that it does cover this front part because we don't want to be able to see it, those um, gaps. So there you have it, half up, half down, quick spin around. So I'm going to show you guys how I achieve my swoop as well.
Now it's time for the difficult part. Getting all this into a ponytail. That's probably the hardest part about all this. So if you don't want to have the struggles of doing all this, don't get 30 inches. Stick to like 18, honey. Just let me tell you, it's a workout. All right, so I like to take my bang and swoop it, and I take it from the back, get out my way. I just place it nice where I want it. Now this excess, since it's so long, it's gonna come around and I secure it up here under the freaking head wrap. Look number two. Now that one took a little bit longer because another look I like to do is called the poetic justice. That one is a lot more advanced. I even struggle with doing that one. So it may take a couple of tries to get it to look the way you want it to, but just be patient and just try to work through it. I know I'm probably gonna get some questions. Is it heavy sitting on top of my head? Yes, I can feel the weight of the scarf and the braid sitting on top of my head. Is it unbearable? Do I feel like I'm about to tip over? Of course not. Like, no, no, I don't like, it's also not gonna go anywhere because of the head wrap. The head wrap is securing it to my head. This is it. I really like this style because I feel like I got royalty going on. Like I got a crown of braids sitting on top of my head. Let's go on to look number four. Another favorite that I like to wear with my crochet wig. It's another one with the swoop and the bangs, but this time we're gonna do it half up, half down. And we're gonna go in with a headband instead of the head wrap because the head wrap I feel like is a little bit more advanced skills versus just doing a headband it's a little bit more you know it's a little bit easier to do to me All right, since we already have our half up, half down, this really saves me with doing any kind of ponytails. I go ahead and put half of it up, that way I only have to worry about the back 
to deal with. So anytime I do a ponytail on this style, I make sure I always start with a half up. That way the rest of this can go up so much more easier. Then we're gonna take our bang and swoop it in the back and tuck it underneath our headband and it's going to be held by the headband. And there we have it, our half up, half down with the bang. And as you can see, that one took a lot less effort. And you know, for the sake of the video, I didn't make this look neat, but we would of course make this look neat. Now for our very last one, it's all down. We will not be having any ponytails at all. Now we're gonna take our head wrap and we're gonna place it right over these braids. This one is the least evasive to me because it doesn't require anything but me just tying the head wrap. Then the second one, I like to do a twist for decorative reasons. And depending on how I'm feeling, I'll leave it up top or I'll leave it in the back. Just depending on my placement where I want it and I'm gonna tuck it behind the previous one that we laid flat across. This is what the back looks like. And that is it for my five easy hairstyle looks to wear with your crochet wig. Now, if you have already created your wig and you've just been looking for new ways to wear it, I hope this video helps. Please follow us on Instagram. And if you create these looks, please tag us. We would love to see your creations and what looks you come up with. And if you are just now coming across a crochet wig, the box braid crochet wig, and now you're like convinced that you need it in your life, I'm glad to help, but also tag us when you make it and we would love to see the style that you wear yours as well. And of course, if you add your own little spice and flair to it, like by all means, tag us still. I love to see the inspiration of other people wearing their hair in all kinds of ways, whatever makes you happy. So thank you guys for joining us. If you have been sticking it out with us for this entire video, we greatly appreciate you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed to our channel and hit the like button if you really like the hair wraps that I just showed you on to how to do your crochet wigs. Plan on making a Senegalese twist one as well on our channel so I hope you guys are subscribed and you hit the notification bell so you can get notifications when I do upload that video too. Thank you guys for joining us. I hope you all have a blessed and safe day. Please uh, don't forget to come back and see us on another one. Please be blessed and be safe.